how do you start freelancing as a software developer? So the first thing I would say is if you have a full-time job to do freelancing on the part-time. So you do your part-time, your full-time job for 8 hours, 40 hours a week, 9 to 5. Um, you dedicate maybe um, from 6 in the morning till 8 or from you know 5.30 to um, 7.30. Just like 2 hours a day. Or maybe do it on the weekend for maybe a month or two. Dedicate only two hours to freelancing. But how do you get those freelancing jobs, those freelancing projects? The first thing which I do not recommend, but it is a good starting point if you're just beginning programming or you don't have much experience, is to go on Upwork or Freelancer. You won't get paid much, but you will get valuable experience if you don't have much programming experience. Upwork and Freelancer are very good sites for that. If you're living um, in the um, United States at least, you're not going to be paying, be paid a lot of money. This is only for experience to get your first contract, your, your first project or so, and see how it is and see if you like it. What I do recommend is to go on Angel um, uh, cur um, and and um, put on there that you're looking for freelancer work. You're you're an Android developer, freelancer, or a freelance web, web developer, anything like that. Um, go on your Twitter and and put on your status, your um, you know your status right, right under your your picture. You know freelance. I'm gonna remember to put that freelance before your name freelance web developer, freelance Android developer. Do a, um, a Twitter post saying that you're a freelance um, a web developer looking for a job currently and you're available these times to work remotely and put in your skills and don't forget to put in a link to your uh, website or resume. And last, which is going to take a very long time, is to build up a blog. Um, um, if you have a blog, you look very um, professional and <clears throat> put on there that you're looking for work, you're looking for a freelancer, maybe, maybe put that in your about page, maybe upload a video. So the first thing is to let, the, let your clients come to you. I believe is the best way to do that. You know, post everywhere. Don't be applying for jobs and on and on and because they're going to get hundreds of people applying for the, those jobs and your chance of getting that job is very slim. Maybe, you know, 5 or 10% chance. Um, but if you post on all these sites like Hacker News, Reddit, um, Twitter, YouTube, your your own website, uh send out your your resume on a website that broadcasts to other people you may be in reach of thousands of people per day and it's a lot easier for someone to come in and say hey you're a freelancer I would like to hire you uh, other than applying for a freelancing job going through the interview process which may take weeks um, so a very good way is to put yourself out there and just gain some popularity on the web and you'll do fine you'll you'll get your first freelancing gig and you'll be really happy